We're going to get right back to Andy Curtis uh, live at a scene of a second water main break that we've seen in the last two days. This also in southeast Grand Rapids, just about a mile from mm -hmm. what we saw yesterday. This one on Kalamazoo Avenue. However, Andy, what are you seeing so far? Hey, good morning, Ellie. Good morning, Janice. Uh, I'm seeing a big hole just like we saw yesterday, but the main difference between this hole and yesterday's big hole is no water's flowing out of this one here on Kalamazoo Avenue. Streets still closed down between uh, Ramona Street and I believe Evergreen down there. You can see behind these trucks. But uh, what we saw yesterday was water flooding a few homes, destroying uh, at least one car in Philadelphia Avenue about a half mile from here. Now, we did reach out to the city of Grand Rapids. They told us that this is a smaller break. This is a, uh, a break that is in a separate line. And we did get a text from Steve Guitar with uh, the city, and he told us about midnight last night, an additional water main break occurred in a 12 inch uh, main in Kalamazoo here about half mile away from yesterday's Adams and Philadelphia main break. Now this main break is being repaired currently and uh, crews have been here all morning and the shutdown is in Kalamazoo from Oakdale to Ramona where we are right now. Now only a couple of properties he told us are being impacted by this one and there is no boil water advisory being issued. He said with all of the valve operations in this area over the past 36 hours, it's not uncommon to get additional leaks like this one resulting from change in flows and pressure variance. Now that is the latest information that we do have from the city of Grand Rapids. Uh, other than that, what we can report is Kalamazoo Avenue is shut down. I've mentioned it, Rob has been talking about it in our earlier shows throughout the course of the morning from uh, Ramona Street again to Evergreen. So if that is a vital part of your commute, there is a quick workaround. Shouldn't be too much of, uh, of a hassle this morning if you're coming through here. No timeline, uh, no timetable timeline on when this repair will be completed. But when we learn it, we will, of course, share that information with you here on the airwaves and on our website, fox17online.com. Reporting here from Grand Rapids, Andy Curtis, back to you too.